What if I told you that there was a new tool for osteoporosis that could actually build bone all on its own without having to do anything else? Too good to be true? Maybe. But researchers are actually working hard to find better solutions for bone health, and God knows we need them. So this new tool is a compound called AP503. It's actually a really new compound that targets a receptor called GPR133. The research is absolutely early, but it's already showing exciting results. I had several people recently send me these articles and these news stories about the articles on this potential drug. So what I want to do in this video is discuss this compound, its potential, and lay out a timeline of when we could actually expect to see this compound in reality. And spoiler alert, it's probably not anytime soon. However, I'm going to show you some not often discussed tools that actually use a similar pathway as AP503 for bone optimization that are already available. So please stick around till the end. All right, so what is this thing, AP503? Well, again, it turns on this receptor called GPR133, and this is a receptor that's found in osteoblasts, the bone-building cells. And when this receptor is switched on, it boosts the pathway that makes osteoblasts more active. This is ramping up the bone-building side, which clearly is important. This has been studied in mice mostly so far. And when mice are missing the receptor, that GPR receptor, we know that bones are thinner, they're weaker, they're more fragile. So clearly this receptor has a role in bone development, bone building, but it's obviously not the only one, but it might be an important one. But when mice with the receptor, that GPR receptor, receive this thing called AP503, this compound that is naturally made in the body, their bones became thicker, their bones became stronger, and they're less likely to break. Pretty cool. Even mice that are in a menopause model, meaning they've had their ovaries removed, we would normally expect to see rapid bone loss in this model. And when they were given AP503, their bone loss actually reversed. So that's actually pretty big news, right? Because we've known for years that the bone drugs are effective. They do reduce fracture risk in the relative short term, but they are not long term plans. So none of them are really working through the same pathway. So maybe there is a role here where this drug could be used indefinitely to improve reverse osteoporosis and make this a non-issue. What's also interesting about this pathway that they point out in these studies is that GPR-133, this receptor, is also sensitive to movement. It's sensitive to the mechanical stress of movement. So that means that exercise is actually naturally stimulating it. And that's not the thing that I'm going to talk about that we could potentially consider as a lever because we're already considering that. But what's cool about this is that GPR-133 then is actually a receptor that is already responding to exercise. And if you were to add AP503 with it, then it would probably exponentially increase the benefits of exercise, which is amazing. This is really cool. But again, we don't have this yet. But imagine the power of a drug that could improve bone in postmenopausal women without HRT. How powerful would that be? But here are the questions. And this is what we need to ask for any new compound. What are the side effects? What are the risks? How strong would the benefit be in humans? Seems to be good in mice, but we're not big mice. And the truth is, is we don't know the answers to these questions. But there is a process that is well established to get from where we are now with AP503 as a compound of interest to a drug. So let's get practical on the reality of this. AP503 is still in animal studies. That means there are no human trials. And history tells us that only one in 10 or less drugs actually make it from where AP503 is now to an FDA-approved pharmaceutical for human use. And for drugs like this that are a first in its class, acting on a receptor that no one's ever targeted before, the hurdles are going to be even higher. Again, because we don't know the safety of this thing. The timeline on this is actually quite long. From preclinical testing to phase one, phase two, phase three human trials, and then regulatory approval, if everything goes smoothly, we're still talking about a decade or more, 10 to 15 years before patients could have access to it. And that's if it all goes smoothly. So while AP503 is exciting, and it might point to a future where we really do have an easy lever to pull that can reverse osteoporosis, it's not going to be available anytime soon. And we have to rely on the things that we have available to us today. Because right now, osteoporosis is a crisis hiding in plain sight. Remember, one in two women, one in four men over the age of 50 will suffer a fracture due to osteoporosis. Hip fractures, again, carry this high mortality, this morbidity, this life-changing event of a hip fracture. Clearly, these are things we want to avoid. 
So if you've watched this channel and you've seen more than one video on this channel, you know that there's a lot of things that we can do for bone, right? Exercise, especially resistance and impact training. These things can directly stimulate bone. Proper nutrition, getting enough protein, minerals, vitamins, especially D and K as a foundation for food. Hormone optimization with HRT and androgens, testosterone and DHEA when indicated. All of these things can boost bone and muscle. The truth is we don't have to wait for the promise of tomorrow. We don't have to wait for these potentially new drugs. We see this every day. We can act today. We can change lives right now. And I want to double click on one of the tools that I just talked about because this is actually the one that is using a very similar pathway to AP503. But before I tell you what it is and how it works, if you haven't figured out your winning recipe yet and you want additional pointers, you want to learn some of what we've learned over the years of reversing osteoporosis with our patients and in our osteo collective community, consider coming to our masterclass. It's totally free. We talk about the top five mistakes that we see people make, and I don't want you to make those mistakes so that we can time collapse your journey to bone health success. Look for the link in the description on YouTube or go to our website at osteocollective.com. All right, so what is this amazing tool we don't talk about that often? Well, we do talk about it, but I'm talking specifically about androgens like DHEA and testosterone. What stood out to me as I was investigating this receptor in AP503 is that what they're doing is very similar, although a different pathway, as testosterone and potentially DHEA. And testosterone and DHEA are available now, although obviously we don't have an FDA-approved product commercially for women. That's a story for another day. But we know that both DHEA and testosterone as androgens have been shown to improve bone health in both men and women. And again, use a similar pathway, different receptor, but share a similar result. They turn on the genes that guide bone building cells to do their job better, just like AP503. The difference here is that androgens also have a clear role in muscle support, muscle growth, muscle maintenance, and we know that that's a huge part of reversing osteoporosis. So the results of using androgens, if they're done appropriately in the right person who needs them at the right dose, is stronger bones and stronger muscles to protect those bones. So while I get it, I love new shiny stuff too, AP503 sounds amazing and it's a new path to a shared goal, remember that testosterone and DHEA are here today. It can be used right now when the clinical picture is right. So here's the takeaway. AP503 is exciting. It's a breakthrough in research, and I love that. Maybe there's a future here again where we have an, a, an easy, simple switch. You just flip it, and boom, your bone's better in a couple of months. And I think we are going to continue to find these tools as we continue to do good research. But the message for you today is this. You don't need to wait for the new research. We already have numerous strategies that hit similar targets and help build strong bones. Remember that we can test hormone levels, even if some doctors say not to. We can look at bone density. We can put together exercise, nutrition, lifestyle, supplements, hormone plans, hormones like testosterone and DHEA, which can play a powerful role in reversing or preventing bone loss. So while AP503 may show you the future of osteoporosis treatment, the real opportunity is in the present. We already have tools that work. And every year of delay increases the risk of fracture and the risk of your loss of independence. So that's why I encourage everyone to learn more, get tested, take action, because bone health isn't something to wait on. It's something you have to protect today. And remember this, life should be about honoring your health and aging with strength and grace. I'll see you in the next video.